Commencing download. Download complete. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I'm just uh, waiting for the bus now. We're going to go downtown to explore the uh, town of Porto Plata. So we're going to be getting on the bus here in a second. Okay, we are downtown now. Uh, we are at the Mokrik's House of Rum. They're going to show us how they make uh, the rum with the sugar canes and stuff. Oh, check out these cars here. You'd swear you, we were back in Cuba. Show you around here. We have a few minutes to look around. Look at this thing here. That's awesome. No dodge. No Thunderbird. Barracuda. They don't make him like this anymore, that's for sure. And the Rolls Royce. I don't know if you guys saw the uh, panic look in my face there earlier just before we got on the bus. I uh, I checked in with the driver and then uh, got off the bus to do my intro video and then the bus started leaving. Uh, so I uh, had to uh, cut it short. All the barrels here of rum. You can really smell the uh, oak from the barrels. Bienvenue à la maison du rhum Macorix. Welcome to Macorix House of Rum. So this is what they used to use to uh, extract the sugar from the sugar cane. They used to uh, turn the uh, handle at the top there and they would crush and squeeze the sugar out of the sugar cane. So we're on our way right now to see uh, Umbrella Street. 
Oh, uh, puppies. Oh, look at this. Rincon Cafe. You know who's I'm going to share with you here very quickly how to make a So we're sampling uh, hot chocolate right now. Very nice, very sweet. all kinds of boutiques here. This is obviously the shopping district. Mm -hmm. There you go. If you ever wondered how they make cigars. It's incredible, huh? Oh boy! Yes. 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 Okay, Adrian Flutron. My name is Nelson. Uh, today we are making two different recipes of cigar. I say that to make a good cigar, the tobacco has to be fermented and then after it has to be aged. To make a good cigar, we need minimum four years. See? It's only one season a year and it's from October to April. For cigar is black tobacco, for cigarette is blonde tobacco, so different. Blonde tobacco is only one kind, but on black tobacco there are more than 20 different ones. Uh, the fermentation process is minimum eight months more, and the aging process is from two years to six years. See? That's why I told you, to make a good cigar, we need minimum four years. Then. Over here on this factory, we made the cigar by recipes. We have a 25 different natural cigars. A recipe is when we blend a different kind of tobacco, fermented with different ingredients and different ages. And we got recipes from three different tobacco until nine different tobacco in one cigar. The Paseo de Dona Blanca. Thank you. 
Okay, so we have about uh, 30 minutes to uh, walk around. This is a central park here. You can come feed the pigeons. Chocolate Bakery and Cafe. I think I found my spot. Ah, perfect. So this is the bakery here. Oh, la señorita. Hey, a café latte, por favor. Sí. Para tomar aquí. For here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so my café latte just arrived. Look at that presentation. Presentation is everything, right? And there's my view. Okay, so we just stopped here at uh, one of the uh, forts. This is uh, Fort St. Philip behind me that was built in uh, 1590. So it's uh, a little older than I am. It's right in the ocean here. I'll show you the view from here, it's, it's gorgeous. So after we're done here, we only have about 10 minutes here. After we're done here, we're gonna go uh, for lunch, I believe, and then uh, this afternoon, we're gonna try and make it up the gondola. The problem is, is that uh, the mountain is still uh, covered in clouds. So going up the gondola is gonna be useless if uh, we can't see anything. So uh, we're gonna stall and go for lunch first, and hopefully after lunch, uh, things will clear up. It's also a cruise ship over here that I'm going to show you. Norwegian Cruise Line, the Jade. Show you the cruise ship. And the fort. We're not going to go into the fort because that wasn't included in the uh, price uh, that we had, but at least we get to see the outside. <laughs> I'll just show you the uh, observation tower that's up there. It'd be nice to climb up there and get a nice view. This is where we're having our lunch. Pretty fancy. Pretty nice, eh? like we won't see much when, once we're at the top of the mountain with this rain. We never know it might clear up before we get up there. Here comes the gondola now.
Se van a entrar ellos, diga, no entra. Non, du Nouveau-Brunswick. Du Nouveau? Nouveau-Brunswick, à côté du Québec. Mais La province à côté. C'est une province. Du Québec. Non, du, non, Canada. du Canada. Du Canada. Québec, une province. Nouveau-Brunswick, une province. Mais vous, comment dit Nouveau? C'est Nouveau? Non, pas vraiment, non. <rire> <rire> pas vraiment. OK. Voilà, tu veux là, Some other shops down here. video for the trip. I had planned to go snorkeling uh, tomorrow, uh, but I've since canceled that. I found out that it's like a two and a half hour drive just to get there. Speedboat, uh, half an hour I believe, to this uh, desert island in the middle of nowhere. Uh, beautiful sandy beach and I'm sure it's nice, but I was hoping to go snorkeling around coral reefs and stuff and I just the thought of uh, snorkeling just on the sandy beach just didn't uh, appeal to me. So. Anyway, so I canceled that. Just gonna stay around the resort here. It's finally beautiful out here today and uh, enjoy the sun uh, for the rest of my uh, trip. So anyways, I just wanted to bring uh, uh, forward a few um, concerns that I had, uh, nothing major, but uh, with uh, lifestyle holidays and uh, Confessi uh, Palm Beach. Uh, and this is not just for myself, it's, it's from uh, other clients that I've been speaking to while I'm here on the resort. So the first thing is the uh, key cards. Uh, when I first got here my key card wasn't working and of course my room at the time was at the other end of the resort so I had to wait for somebody to go and get a new key card and, and bring it to me. Um, and apparently that's happened to other people as well. There's one lady in particular she's at the other end of the resort as well where her kids and she had to go back four times because her key card kept stopping to work so not good. Not a good snare, especially on the, a large resort like this one. Um, a lot of uh, customers are complaining about uh, no towels in their rooms when they first arrive as well. And that's just basic 
stuff, right? There's no reason uh, for that to happen. Um, you have to pay about $40 uh, US for Wi-Fi here for the five days, I believe. Um, and it's spotty at best. So uh, if you're planning on coming here to do some work and using the Wi-Fi, um, probably not a good idea. Uh, what I did is I just uh, bought a, a SIM card for my phone and I've been using my phone to search the internet and stuff like that. And I paid about that $40 US for the SIM card for unlimited for seven days. So that might be the way to go, but don't plan on hotspotting your phone or your laptop to your phone. Uh, I tried and it's not working. So um, power outages, there's been a couple of power outages um, on the resort, uh, not nothing long, just a, a few minutes and then it came back, but uh, that has happened a couple of times. Uh, no hot water. Um, I had hot water on the first day uh, in the other building that I was in originally. Uh, this one here, uh, it's been lukewarm at best. Other people have had no hot water whatsoever during their stay. Uh, as I mentioned before, lots of steps on the resort. So if you have any type of knee issues or heart condition or whatnot, um, you may not want to uh, pick this resort uh, because there's that's, the resort is on a, on a hill and there are tons of steps of you have seen, as you have seen in uh, my, pre my uh, video. So anyways, uh, there are shuttles, but you have to wait 25 to 30 minutes before you can get on one if you're lucky. And um, so if you're in a bit of a rush to go somewhere, it's uh, probably not the best scenario. Um, signage on the resort. There is signage on the resort, uh, but it definitely needs to be improved. Um, there was one couple yesterday that I helped. Uh, they were completely lost. They couldn't find their way to the cafeteria. So I managed to get them back there, but uh, yeah, there's no need for that. There's very easy to uh, to root sign a little bit more. Uh, there are signs on the building for numbers, but they're not on all four sides. So if you're coming from a different path, different location, you can't see the numbers on the building. So you have to walk around each of the building to figure out where you are. So definitely need uh, improvement on the root signing uh, on the resort itself, especially with the size that it, it is. Um, shuttle speed, uh, because the, the staff here are, are accustomed to driving down these uh, sidewalks with the go-karts, uh, golf carts I should say, and, um, and the little mini buses, they, see, they tend to go a little bit fast. Uh, so you have to always watch out when they're coming, if you hear them coming, to get out of their way because uh, especially the uh, last couple of days it's been raining, the roads have been very slippery and uh, it would have been very difficult to stop uh, last minute if somebody, a child ran out in front of them or something. So they really have to keep the, the speed down. Uh, there's no bars in the breezeway in the main lobby area that you saw when I was doing a tour of the video. Um, there's a bar by the pool and which is maybe 50 feet, uh, 50 to 80 feet away from the, the lobby, which is fine. But when it's pouring down rain, which it has been, which it has been for the last uh, three, four days, um, you have to basically run out to the bar, uh, the pool bar, get your drink, and then run back to the lobby to sit down and enjoy it because there's not a lot of seating under under cover. So they uh, they could definitely improve on that. Maybe uh, set up a bar in the lobby area or a coffee shop. I'm a coffee drinker myself and there's no place to get a coffee. There is a, co a couple of coffee places on the uh, uh, lifestyle side of the resort, uh, but it's um, for VIPs only, which uh, I didn't get the package for. So if you're just looking for a regular coffee, you have to wait for breakfast or lunch to get your coffee at the uh, main cafeteria. So yeah, it would be nice if they had a nice little coffee shop in the lobby area as well for, for customers. Uh, and or a bar. So on a more positive note, uh, the Air Transat uh, rep that I use uh, here at the resort, that's here at the resort, uh, was just amazing. Uh, he went out of his way. Any issues I'd, I've had, uh, I could go see him and then he would make it uh, right. So two thumbs up for the Air Transat uh, uh, staff that's here on the resort. Uh, the staff that work uh, at Cafresi, uh, Palm Beach and Lifestyle also were amazing. Uh, anything that I needed, I would ask and they would, uh, they would provide it. So uh, two thumbs up for them. 
Um, the gardens itself, as you can see, are just amazing uh, when I did the walk about there. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the grounds itself are beautiful. The resort is a little dated, uh, definitely needs updating, but uh, the grounds are just amazing. It's just an, an oasis uh, on the grounds. The entertainment was okay, uh, wasn't bad. I went uh, yesterday and there was a couple people there playing guitar and singing and they were really good. Um, so yeah, so uh, entertainment was okay. Um, what else? Yeah, the, so, and this is no reflection upon the staff by any means. Uh, this is lifestyle resorts and Confederacy Palm Beach uh, that really need to up their game, uh, basically. And um, what rating would I give him on the rating of five? I would probably give him a three star. So, uh, no more than that I, with all the issues. And that's not just from me, this is from other uh, clients that have been here as well uh, that have uh, spoke, uh, spoken to me. So, so yeah, so lifestyle, uh, unfortunately, you just need to update uh, up your game uh, a little bit and uh, maybe improve on some of the uh, factors that I, I mentioned. And um, uh, it's a beautiful resort. Other than that, it's really beautiful. It's a large resort. There's uh, lots of things to do for the kids paintball, soccer, uh, basketball, um, you name it, water sports of course as well. So um, they really have it uh, down pat there, uh, but uh, they just need to uh, work on those uh, little minor details. So yeah, so this is gonna be my last video for this trip in the Dominican Republic. So if you enjoyed the video, please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe down below if you haven't done so. And we will see you in the next video. Have a good day.